Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives Arc Day by Day. Uh, I apologize if the audio is a little quiet. Um, I'm still working on getting my whole new setup in. I bought a new stand for my mic, so hopefully my voice comes through clearer. I, let me know if it works. Anyways, uh, we are here on day 17, and just kind of uh, grinding out resources. The base is still very much under construction. There's a whole lot of stuff left for me to build, and you know what? If you've played Ark, the grind never really ends. Stone, wood, thatch, fiber, hide, flint, meat even, and of course narcotics. You need the narcotics. Um, I did eventually install a mod when I was playing through this to help me grind out some of those uh, resources a little bit more easily. I want to keep the mods to a minimum, so I'm not going crazy, just kind of like a vanilla plus style, nothing that makes the game more difficult or adds crazy creatures or anything, just some stuff to... Uh, make recording the game easier and I'm only playing by myself in day by day I will only ever play by myself in day by day so I'm grinding out some narcotics and continuing to work on the base and um, the second floor as you can see here is almost done at this point and I did start working on the third and final floor uh, later in this video so you'll get to a better idea of what it's gonna look like when it's finished um, I think it's going to look really cool. I like the way it looks on the outside now. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to cap it. I was going to just build a glass dome on top, and I thought, nah, that's going to look weird. So I'm not building the glass dome, but I still haven't decided exactly how I'm going to cap off the structure. We will see. So uh, I built up some uh, narcotics and some darts and stuff. I knew that I needed to go and tame some more creatures. I did want to make a chainsaw, uh, do some other things, and that meant that I also had to go traveling to go and get more silica pearls. And I needed things like obsidian so I could make polymer. Um, I wanted to start running drops now that I can get around the map uh, pretty easily if I can get some good weapons or saddles or something. And uh, here you can see me putting in the staircase up to the third and final level. So we are putting in metal stairs. And we are going to have a metal final floor. So basically, it was wood and stone the first two layers, and then metal and greenhouse on the final layer. And I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. I have an idea for this design. You'll, you'll start to see it uh, come into shape here as I get started on the third floor. So I'll put this into place here and um, need to start working on that uh, design because the floor is going to have a design in it. But yeah, I was uh, just kind of poking my head around, continuing to grind resources, all that uh, boring stuff. And I ended up cutting a lot of footage in some later days just because I was doing so much resource grinding, even with the mods that I installed to make it go faster. Um. But yeah, uh, I did get quite a bit accomplished. I had uh, over 12 hours of footage that I ended up editing down. And just to kind of put this into perspective on why it takes me so long to put this together, it takes about half as long to edit as it does to record. So if I record 12 hours of footage, the whole editing process, uh, importing and mixing the, the video, cutting everything down, recording the commentary, exporting it and watching the final product and getting it up on YouTube, all that stuff, is going to take me about six hours. And I am not doing it in a day. I swear I have ADD. I haven't been diagnosed, but I might as well. I have the attention span of, oh, look, a tree. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I, I was getting uh, done with that final floor and I decided to set out and go and get uh, some other things, some other resources. And I also knew that um, I was at the point now where I can start taming bigger creatures. I hadn't completely decided what creatures I wanted to get yet. I did uh, grab this beaver dam, and there was a drop uh, right next to the beaver dam as well. So I got this. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's uh, that's hilarious right there, that is. Yeah, I got a blueprint for an Uranio saddle, and I actually had my microphone on for this recording with my brother playing NBA 2K in the background. So every once in a while, if I had it unmuted the whole time, you could hear him complain. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why we play a game when we complain about it so much, but that's besides the point. After all, we're ARC players. It's part of our DNA. Uh, if we weren't complaining about 2K, we'd be complaining about ARC. I did check out the local Giga population on the volcano, and then I picked up this yellow drop. Why do I need an Uranio saddle, a Mastercraft, and a blueprint for an Ascendant Uranio saddle? Why? Spider saddles, why? Yeah, apparently Ark thinks I need to tame spiders. Stat. Uh, if you know anything about tamed spiders, it's that you're better off spending your time standing in a corner of your base. And not spending the resources to tame spiders at all. It is, they are probably, if not one of the worst the worst team in the game it's it's absolutely terrible they are so bad where them frogs at so yeah i went to the swamp because i had decided i wanted now that i was drop running i wanted to get serious about running caves too and on the short list of caves that i want to get done soon is the cave of the immune that's the one that's gonna you know, kill you, just the air breathing it when you walk in, the one that's full of Meganura. So, I needed to tame myself a frog and get myself prepared to go in that cave. I have never done this before. So, I was just kind of winging it and going on things that I had heard over time. Um... I have seen videos of other ARC YouTubers running this cave a while ago. I've never actually really seriously run this cave myself. Um, I have done it, but I did it like on a PvP server, and it was one where I had, you know, a full kit basically given to me. Might as well have been given to me based on how easy it was to get it. Uh, but yeah, so. Uh, my run through that cave was nowhere near legit. Uh, so this is the first time I've actually properly prepared for it. And I did not realize what it was going to take. Um, I was leveling my Beelzebufo after I got it in the Cave of the Hunter. Just literally 100% cleared everything out of the cave. Got so many levels. Got so much chitin. I'll have all the cementing paste that I need. Ever. I actually came pretty close to dying, which you can see right here. This is uh, this is why I came pretty close to dying, is I decided to try and sit in this corner and just kind of fight everything. Not the brightest idea I've ever had. That's a lot of stuff. Um, Yeah, my health's just kind of going down, going down, going down. I did not die, surprisingly. I, I'm very surprised by that. Th this stuff was just wailing on me in the corner, and it all just kind of started to die all at once. I'm like, right at the edge of my lifespan there, I swear, I swear I was going to die. I swear I knew I was going to die, and I, it just didn't happen. I was able to feed myself up a little bit, drop some meat on the ground, and hop out of there to properly heal. The frog survived. And I guess I survived too. You know, you, you take what you can get. Picked up another artifact while I was in there, since I had cleared everything anyway. And made my way back out of the cave. I'm pretty sure I collected every note uh, while I was in that cave. Um, and picked this up out of the drop. Uh, it's not much, but it's something. You know, send cloth boots. And now to make cementing paste and get ready to run that cave. Now that it's day 19, um, I had trouble finding the entrance. Um, I know roughly where it is, but I, I, it took me a bit to find it. And while I was looking for it, I uh, got cornered. Once again, I thought I was going to die to these two things. These, this frog is way better than I thought it would be. 
way better. Actually, a pretty decent uh, caving tame. And, you know, for what it's worth, I totally recommend taming a frog. It was pretty easy to knock out. They're not that hard to tame at all. It was nice. Now I finally found the entrance to the cave and I'm going in for the first time. And I don't know if I forgot something. I'm pretty sure scuba is supposed to help you survive in here. And I probably just did it wrong. Um, and then this micro raptor decided to follow me in. So that was fun. Y you all know what's coming. Wait for it. There it is. So now I have to just tank spider hits, which, uh, yeah, they don't do much damage, so. The real problem with the Rainio is the fact that they're, not the wild damage, the wild damage isn't a problem. Oh, and I killed this adult dire bear. It's the, uh, the tamed damage is way too low on those spiders. Now watching this baby dire bear grow up, I noticed there was a problem. Okay, something's screwy with the settings. So, you know that box when I make my settings video, I tell you never to tick single player settings? Yeah, uh, somehow, while I was messing with my settings for my personal save, somehow that got ticked. So, I ended up playing on, on single player settings and I had to turn and, uh, you know, go turn that off real quick. I don't know exactly how much of my game I've been playing on single player settings. Probably not much, because my crops weren't growing super fast. Taming didn't seem to be too affected. So, uh, we'll just assume it was the, the one session. Because I had been messing with my settings, uh, transferring my uh, settings from my previous settings video over. So that's probably what, what got screwed up. So I decided to tame this raptor, since it was pretty high level. You know me, I uh, really like raptors for some reason. Thankfully they're, at this point in the game, pretty easy to knock out. Honestly, I don't really have much of a use for them anymore. But um, yeah, we'll take them. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? If nothing else, they can follow my T-Rex around when I got a T-Rex or something. But uh, knowing that I needed to survive that cave, I decided to look into getting a gas mask, which I know will protect me in there. Okay, it takes absorbent substrate. So let's... Yeah. Sap, not a problem. Oil, not a problem. Black pearls? Really, the only way to get black pearls is to go underwater. So I knew at this point I had to go and get some uh, get some fish tamed up so that I could go and, uh, you know, start progressing in the underwater part of uh, the game. And so you'll see how that goes later. Uh, was quite... Ended up being quite the uh, long adventure. Not necessarily an exciting one, but it was a long one. Uh, it involved a lot of dying to sharks and baryonyx, uh, but I got it done. So that's that's coming later in this video. And then I was building this thyla trap on the top of the mountain. This is right next to my argent trap at the top of the mountain. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go and I'm going to grab a thyla and I'm going to slap it in there. I need cave running tames. And the frog is great, but if I'm going to continue running caves, I need a high-level Thyla. So here's a 130. It'll at least get me started. Take it to the top of the mountain. Shoot it. Knock it out. Get it down. I've got a ton of cooked prime on me. I was ready to go Thyla taming. Uh, this is just a male. I only get the one right now. I'm definitely going to need a female. And then I'm going to need to breed them at some point, like I did uh, in my old ITGK Survives survival evolved series uh and this is going to take a while because at this point i'm not on single player settings anymore it's going to take narcotics 250 i think it ended up taking 
and it's gonna take uh, a bunch of this cooked prime, which I had more than enough for all the, all of that cooked prime that I had. I knew how to go and get some more. Um, so I, it was not gonna be a problem of anything more than just time. So I did some more drop running through the nights as I tended to the tame, running back and forth from my base to ferry supplies to the Thyla. And then I decided to take the Anki to the top of the volcano and go and get myself some obsidian. Um, I Like I said, I kind of need this for polymer. Uh, the Kairuku from my spawn adjustments hadn't started spawning in yet, and I needed polymer soon. So... I just was grinding polymer the old-fashioned way. Hard poly. The non-organic kind. I had plenty of cementing paste, so hey, why not? And then I played chicken with a giga for about 20 minutes, and uh, then got to chainsaw it up. Day 20, we are back, we're making poly. We're uh, getting things done, repairing scuba gear, and continuing to prep for fish taming and cave running. Killed an adult stego and went and claimed its baby right over here. So now I have a stegosaurus. I With the parasaur, I have more than enough berries. This thing just trough tamed. I didn't even imprint it. I just, I just let it grow up in the yard and feed off the trough. I put down a toilet, which I pulled out of a drop in my house, which is nice. All the amenities. And finally, we got ready for my first wave of fish taming. I wanted a shark. And so, I valiantly set out to go shark killing and shark taming. And, uh... It went about as well as you could expect. I wanted to kill the lower level ones, harvest them for meat, and at the very least get them out of the area, and then knock out the higher level ones, which I have these harpoons for. Yes, I know arrows work underwater, I'm not, not dumb, but these do a lot more torpor, and I wanted to try them out. I never really use them. Uh, so that honestly did not go well. You heard my scuba gear break at the end there. Yeah, um, the sharks ended up killing me and I didn't get anything tamed. So I had to uh, go and get more gear. And as you can tell in the bottom left there, as we get to day 21 now, I needed more harpoons, trank harpoons. If I can get a high level crossbow, maybe, maybe I will skip the harpoon launcher. But until then, I feel like I, you know, I, I kind of want to try it. Maybe it's worth it. I mean, it exists for a reason. Um, knowing I needed pearls, I decided to go swimming to find the pearl cave. I lived in it once before on a PvP server. Yeah, I couldn't end up, I didn't end up actually finding it. So I had to go and get my bird back. And then um, after I came back, I set up a second smithy just for making these harpoons, just because I needed the slots. I wanted to make a hundred harpoon tracks. So, that takes a lot of resources, as you can see here. Here's all of the stuff that I used to craft the uh, trank spear bolts, right here. And then, after those were done, I crafted a hundred trank bolts. So now I have a whole bunch of trank bolts, and I can go and finally knock out this shark. And finally get started on that. Oh, and here's a second shark that decided to attack me while I was at it. Um, I did install a, a dino paint mod. I know some people breed for colors. I like colors. I ain't breeding for colors. You won't catch me dead breeding for colors. I'll have the ugliest dinos you've ever seen before I breed for colors. But it's not gameplay effective, so I just went ahead and turned that on. Did go to the snow, continuing going drop running, and uh, the Kairuku had finally started spawning in. So for some more polymer, I went out and uh, killed them and harvested them up. And while I was on my way back, I found this Ceratosaurus. 
killed it and was actually able to harvest its spines. Here. So now I can make some Hemogoblin cocktail. Uh, went back into the cave. This time with some ghillie and scuba. And that did a lot better for me. I was uh, living a lot longer, but it was still taking a long time to clear out this cave, and I was slowly losing that. And uh, after the Arthur Pleura broke my gear, I had to hightail it back out of the cave and heal up and repair. I did get to that drop in the cave, and yeah, you can tell I did not get any, any good stuff. So... I wasn't able to press my way all the way through the cave. We're going to have to wait longer for me to actually make it through the Cave of the Immune. I went back and I got my sharks, and that was, uh, that was it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see me try and do in the series, uh, questions, comments, anything like that, leave that below. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for future uploads in this series. In the meantime, I have been in the game Kaya. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.